know, you'd be better safe than sorry by a long shot. And take a look at this video. Kansas City Fire Department rescuing a man from the top of his truck. Mm. This was in Minor Park. So this is, you know, just south of Redbridge Road and Blue River there, Blue River somewhere in there. He said he was stuck for about an hour on top of his truck. Photo in Action News reporter Charlie Keegan caught up with him right after he made it safely to land. He says he only had a flashlight in his car to try to get help. And you're holding your flashlight here. The fire department told us that they, 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 you were able to pinpoint you because of that flashlight. What was the, what went through your mind to, to use that technique to try and, uh, and get some attention? My grandfather always told me to keep the flashlight in your car in case of emergency. So actually came really helpful this time. So. How thankful are you, sir, that you had it this time? And well, I, I really think. And what was it like when the uh, firefighters came up to you when you knew that they were about to rescue? I mean, what was going through your mind at that point to know that they're they're here to help? I just stayed relaxed through the whole thing. Just kind of, I was glad to see him though. Well, of course, yeah, yeah. yeah. So. And so, what's next with the car? They have to come back and get that a little later after the water goes away. Uh, yeah, we'll have to find it. <laughs> so exactly. it's probably going to be. How did you get back there? What what was the circumstance? Were you parked? Were you driving back there? No, I, I was. I had I rode drove back there to get away from this water here. And it was catching up with me, so I had to go that way. So I figured there's a way out that way, walkway anyway, but it didn't turn out that way. How fast was the water rising around you? So just some of what Charlie was able to talk to Rick Wilson about after he was rescued from Minor Park.